Dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards? The Architect's Flawed Stone. <laughs> of no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. Oh, and fate's been the wheel. A daring gamble. Walking the brink of death for rebirth. Oh. Everybody's like that. Down to the last player. So why can't I be happy too? Why can't I feel that free? Always hide your ace with a straight face. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. <laughs> Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last chip. Only by casting aside reason does one truly can. <laughs> Emanator, I know you'll match my wager, right? You're... leaving? <laughs> Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pentecone. What do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Hmm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the Harmony. Even if... that's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other Eons. They have never glanced at anyone, and they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk, and together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes, am I the same? You still have a strand of color. But not much. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely. I will reach the Nihility's end. <laughs> I wish to mourn the departed, weeping like rain, to swell the crossing stream. arrives, leading you back home.
uh, a gigantic black hole. And see, uh, have I, have I succeeded? Welcome to the sad world, Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Melody, is it? <sighs> Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face. No form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So. Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. <laughs> it seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I'd put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out, but it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering, who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier. 
and lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Panicone. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... conjectures... is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. You possess great cunning, deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides, constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others, leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy, both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what-ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the Abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> Of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that... I have nothing. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world, if it's just to die? I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said, 
Sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. <sighs> then I shall get going. Mister, you're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape? Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops, and know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So... Until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing? For what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakavisha. And to make them proud. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? <laughs> Are you going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Keeping your blood eternally, eternally pulsing. May your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakavasha.
the light of the Aventurine Stone has disappeared. This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> As planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then... Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord.